Alright, now we're going to practice our start. I'm going to uh, make a turn for the west, start heading back towards our airplane, or our airport, excuse me, and um, clear the area while I do it. So, there's two categories of stalls, and three different types of stalls that are the private pilot applicant we will typically practice and they may want to see on your check ride. The two categories of stalls, power on and power off. So those names will help you narrow down what type of flight regime you're trying to replicate as you introduce this style maneuver. Um, the power off style has one type, if you will, of style that we will demonstrate and that is an approach to landing stall. At the only time really, or the main time really, that we would have a power off situation and we might inadvertently cause this airplane to stall. It is the most complicated one, it has the most steps, um, however it's the less or least aggressive style, if you will, of the three types of styles. The other two types of styles, they fall into the category of the power on style. And the two phases of flight we're going to replicate are a takeoff and a departure. So we've got the takeoff style and departure style, those are power on, and an approach to landing style, which is a power off. With these three um, types of styles, I want you to ask yourself those same questions. What's my configuration? What's my target airspeed? So we'll start with the takeoff. Um, so what's my configuration for takeoff? Well, what are we trying to replicate here? Well, we're, seven, or we're, we're pretending, or we're demonstrating, if you will, that we are taking off, and most likely, a short field takeoff. Maybe a soft field, but a short field. One of these specialized takeoffs is where you're more, most likely to be too aggressive with the pitch and cause this airplane to stall. So configuration for it doesn't matter if it's a short field or a stop field in this airplane, 25 degrees of flap, which is two notches. Now what's our target airspeed? Um, it's a takeoff, right? So what speed do we take off? Well, a short field we take off at 52 knots. Around 55 is normal, so anywhere between 52 and 55 is acceptable. Uh, but what that means is that we need to slow down, configure the airplane in our configuration, in this case two knots of the flap, and once we reach that target airspeed that we're looking at, 52 or 55, we'll call it 52 today, that's when we're going to have full power. Then we're going to pitch up and allow the airplane to stall. With the stall, you get three indications normally. The first should be the horn, then you'll get a bucket, then you'll get the full stall. And this airplane adds you up for power. Technique-wise, you really need to get that nose up. It's about 20 degrees of pitch up, which you can look on here and put it right on the 20. That's the only time you really want to look inside for this maneuver. When it reaches 20, Keep it at 20. Now when I say keep it at 20, I do not mean keep the yoke in its place. To keep that pitch at 20 as we continue to decelerate, as we continue to slow down, that, um, the yoke back pressure needs to constantly increase. Um, another consideration with these stalls is that we must stay coordinated throughout the entirety of the stall. Um, if the wing starts to drop one way or the other, we do not use ailerons. That's for our uh, spin. Um, discussion, but using aileron will only aggravate the drop wing in the stop condition to put you into a spin. So if it drops, use your rudder to pull yourself back over. Okay. Enough gapping, let's go ahead and try this out. Again, our entry is the same, right? We've got the same fluid motion to enter all of these maneuvers. We have to slow the airplane down. So, car B, throttle between 15 and 18, depending on how quickly you want to decelerate. Below 103, click, click. Now, we're going full power, so I'm going to take my car beat off now, maintaining altitude, allowing it to just nice and gradually decelerate to my target airspeed. I'm going to put 55, 52, full power, right level, bring that pitch up, there's 20 degrees, hold that pitch by increasing the back pressure, looking up my peripherals to make sure I am maintaining my heading. There's a horn, bucket, and there it drops, so I lower the nose, full power, car beats off, I don't have full flat, but I keep this nose down right here until I get to about the X, slowly transition to a climb, and then once I get to a safe altitude, I'll clean up and speed up, just like on a uh, short field takeoff, past the X, take out our notch, approach the VY, take out that final notch, between 85 and 95, I'm going to go ahead and cruise this thing back out. So it happens kind of fast, but that's what we're looking for again. It is a play, know your line, know your part, and everything is just one fluid motion. All right, the next one we're going to demonstrate 
is a departure stop, very similar to that, uh, I don't know what that is, so what's my configuration, what's my airspeed, so this one, we've taken off, life is good, we may have done a short deal, we may not have, we're off the ground and now we're just climbing out, um, so what's our configuration, well we don't definitely climb out with flat, so that's the easy, we're going to have flat butt, flat butt zero, now what's our target airspeed? That, so that, that's kind of a debatable question. I say it's either VX or VY, depends on what your situation is, right? Each one is, is acceptable. However, in my mind, you're more likely to increase that pitch too aggressively if you're trying to hold VX. VX, that angle of climb, means there's something in front of us that we're trying to get over, so there's a good chance that we're trying to get over that, which means our pitch is going to be more aggressive, and that's when we're more likely to over pitch and cause this fall. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do a clearing turn. I'm going to go back to the east here to stay in this area, just outside uh, Larrard Airport. The recovery is going to be the same, or the entry is pretty much the same. So we're going to slow down. To do that, car beat, throttle, airspeed, and flap. Oh, we don't need flap this time, so it's just car beat, power, slow or let it decelerate. We don't want to climb or descent. Keep our altitude as we approach our target out for airspeed. Full power, pitch up to about 20 degrees, and hold it there. We want to hold it there. We'll give the same indication, the horn, a bucket, and then the full stall. So once that nose starts to drop, we're going to take it to a full stall today. Same recovery, lower the nose, always priority number one. Full power. We should be at full power, but we want to verify. Anytime you add full power, make sure that car keeps on. Then if we have full flaps, get rid of that last notch of flap. We don't, so... All we really do is load it up, make sure we have the power, get to VX, and gradually start that climb to a safe altitude. All right, you ready? Here we go. Car beat on. Throttle back. Don't need any flaps. Air speed's looking pretty good. We're going to slowly increase our back pressure just a little bit here, maintain our altitude. All right, so we're going for 63 VX. As we approach, I like to take my car beat off. Because normally we uh, depart and take off with full power. Here comes my airspeed. Full power, right rudder, pitch up. There's 20 degrees. Got the horn right away. Going to hold it, hold it. Lots of right rudder. There's the bucket. And the drop. The nose comes down. Verify full power, just about that much ground. Car beats off, no flaps. Airspeed's coming up. And I'm going to start a climb right back up because I was close to the ground. Now, we don't need to climb anymore. We're at a safe altitude, so I'm going to go ahead and cruise it up. Lower that nose. No flaps. We're getting to a cruise airspeed. Power comes back. Life is good. So those are the two power on stalls. I maintain 3,700 here. I'm going to turn. Let's go to the north. And the last one we're going to do is the power off stall. This one has a few more steps because let's ask ourselves those two questions. First, what's our configuration? We're pretending like we're coming into land and as opposed to landing stop. So our configuration will be full flat, target airspeed. Well, we're doing a normal landing or short field landing, so 63 knots, we'll say, 65. Um, usually what we shoot for. Uh, so we'll be around 65 knots, we'll hold. Lower the nose, maintain that when we're ready. Well, it's actually, at that point, when you lower the nose to 65, it's, it is acceptable to lose a little bit out because you're coming in the land. Then when you're ready, you have got power to idle, pitch it up until we get to the stall. Now with this one, the pitch does not need to go to 20 by any means. Just above the horizon, all you need when to power off the joint. We'll get the horn, the bucket, and the full stall. The recovery for this, same thing as all of them. However, every step, we have to now accomplish what I mean. Well, we're still going to lower the nose first. That's always the first form of primary concern when we stall. We need to add full power. We don't have full power, so the power is going to go full. Verify the power piece off. If we have full flap, which we do, we need to take that last knot to flap out. And at that point, you don't touch the flap, you don't touch anything. We need to get airflow over the wings, get reestablished, get to 63, climb on up. And once, just like a short field takeoff, once we have established, positive right here and here, we're at a safe airspeed, then we can clean up and speed up. All right. Here we go. So car beat on. Power comes back. 15 to 18. Below 102. Below 103. Excuse me. We're going to go 1, 2, 3. Full flap. 
Start heat off, here comes 65, so I'm going to lower the nose. Got a little slow, but that's all right. This airspeed will come back. We're right there at 65. Now, when we look outside, this is exactly what it looks like when we come into land. That's why we do this. Now, we're going to say, uh-oh, for whatever reason, I got the power back, but I don't like to see that much ground, so I'm going to pull up, put this kind of right up the horizon, right above the horizon.